السلام علیکم ویورز سلمان صافی از ویلکمنگ یو ٹو صافی میکسٹ ویورز وی ہیو بین لسٹنگ دا فریز از انرجی کرائسز اینڈ انرجی شارٹیج فار کوائٹ اے لانگ ٹائم بٹ ایز پر دا لا آف کنزرویشن آف انرجی دا ٹوٹل انرجی آف دا یونیورس از کانسٹنٹ سملرلی دا ٹوٹل اماؤنٹ آف انرجی اویلیبل ان ڈفرینٹ فارمس آن دا ارتھ از آلسو کنزرو دین دا کوشچن از وائی ڈو یو اسپیک آف این انرجی کرائسز اور انرجی شارٹیج ان دس ویری شارٹ ویڈیو آئی ووڈ ٹرائی ٹو آنسر دس کوشچن ود دا ہیلپ آف این ایگزامپل اینڈ ووڈ شو دیٹ اٹ از ناٹ ان فیکٹ دا شارٹیج آف انرجی بٹ دا کرائسز of entropy since energy comes in different forms such as chemical mechanical gravitational and nuclear and we also know that some forms are more useful than others but to catch the idea i would talk in the context of thermodynamics from this from this point of view the usefulness of energy is determined by its ability to do work To this end, suppose that we have some firewood in the store of our home and in a very cool night we want to heat our room which is properly sealed. We burn the firewood and raise the temperature of the room to the extent that feels very cozy. Now because of energy conservation, the energy in the room plus the firewood is the same before and after the firewood has been converted into ash. Now here is the answer to our question. Which form of the energy is more capable of doing work? You probably realize that the firewood before it was burned was a more useful form of the energy than the hot air that exists inside the room after the fire. Originally, the energy was stored in the form of chemical energy in the firewood. After burning the wood, the chemical energy converts into the mechanical energy of the molecule of the air inside the room. So the total amount of energy is not changed, but the ability to do work is lacking. In other words, before burning, the energy was in order form, and after burning, it is in disorder form. In fact, the burning of firewood has increased the entropy of the room. This means we have an entropy crisis, not an energy shortage.